Hello everyone, and welcome back to our ProMine Tip of the Month. In this session, we will be going over a specific command used for creating ramps with multiple segments. Here, we have a drawing with ramps, center lines, and reports for our future drifts. We can find this tool in our drift design module. If we click here, it will display the different types of ramps we can create with three, two, or one curves. But in this case, we'll be using our parametric ramp. But before we begin, we'll check to see if our center lines connecting our bypass and our future ramp has a slope of 10%. We can do this by using our edit elevation tool. We select the center line, click on no, and it, it displays a slope of minus 10. And for our bottom center line, we'll do the same. And here we see it has a slope of 10%. Now we are ready to use our parametric ramp. We just go to section and select the parametric ramp command. It will ask us for an initial point, which will be our, our top point, our bottom point, and an alignment point. Here we have our curb radius. It depends on the type of machinery that we'll be transporting through the ramp, and we'll leave it at 10. As well, our segment slopes, we'll leave it at 10. Our curve slope at 8, so we have a smooth descending through the ramp and our elevation between levels will be 25. Since our difference between levels is of 30 meters, we will leave it at 25 because our center lines already have a slope of 10% and we don't want to go over. And we'll leave two as a number of levels. Now we just click okay. And we can see that our parametric ramp is done. We'll just take a look at it and see that it's closed. All right, everything looks good. And later on, we can connect the ramp to this level and future development over here to the right. This concludes our tip of the month. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.